the Aplo. It's the most important shit right here. Fuck this song. He has to put that out. It's all fucked up. That's true too. That's true too. Yeah. Where he started shooting this. Oh my god. Right. We're gonna say the right things. Even though, nope. even though they're lies. Even though they're lies. They don't have to do with that. Yeah. This man has written every day to fuck them. Fuck. Act to move all the fuck up and hit the fuck up. What? Yeah, man. That's why I said, like, hey, that's good, fuck Yeah, man. You know what? That's a good scripture on that, too. You got adultery. You know, especially these niggas, that, they encourage it anyway. Especially if you got a woman, they encourage a motherfucker to, oh, man, that's cool, man. You got a man, she got a man, fuck it. Fuck it. Take it. Go hit that. Make him mad. When the scripture says that motherfucker destroyed his own soul. Yeah, I say, oh, every day I'll be on the internet, you see someone talking shit about OJ something saying, oh, he was, he was guilty, he had crime. But these stupid motherfuckers, they claim to be Christians. But if you're a Christian, you will know what the Bible says. If a woman commits adultery, her and the adulterer gotta get put to death. But you got that lack of understanding, Oh, I'm gonna get that. Hold on, that's in Proverbs. No, that's in Ecclesiastes. Wait a minute, which one are you talking about? No, wisdom aside. You talking about adultery scripture? Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm no, no, thinking, no, no, I'm no, thinking no. Proverbs. Right? No, 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 you're right, you're right, my fault. I'm thinking, uh, uh, sitting out at all with another man's wife. Right. That's in Ecclesiastes. There you go. Club. That's a good one. That's a, actually, that's a, I, that's I'm a perfect, that's I gotta a perfect make, one. Yeah, you're right, that's a That's the spirit, bro. That's the spirit, yeah. bro. Yeah, let's see if I can find that. That is a good ass scripture to break out, too. That's about 18. Yeah, I always, I got that mixed up with the Proverbs, bro. Yeah, I mean, like yeah. I said, they always excellent ass scripture that's, that's on the point. That's on the point. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is good. Uh, this is good. This is good. Ecclesiastes 12 and 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first and though he pretend to help thee yet shall he undermine thee he sh he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance who you at bro? Ecclesiastes 12 and 16 oh look at the Kim Trails on camera real quick look at all those goddamn Kim Trails all, all these, this whole storm right here is artificial. That, all those clouds are fake, man. Look at all them chemtrails. The whole goddamn sky is zigzag. Looks like a tic-tac-toe board yeah, right there. Crazy. What's up, man? You know America's about to be destroyed? According to the Bible? Ecclesiastes 12 and 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. That, that describes a politician perfectly. Okay, that's an enemy. But in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. That's right. 
Yeah, you can yeah. use it for these wicked ass niggas too. Yeah. It seduces your people. You know our people, man. You know? A wicked ass adulteress, a wicked ass drug dealing ass nigga. You know? This that that scripture can be twofold. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him their birth. You saw any any wicked motherfucker looking to take advantage of it. You know, we was talking about going up here, you know. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Actually, that describes the majority of people. Actually, <laughs> not just... <laughs> not you know, say the key percent. word, too. Majority. The key yeah. word. That's how everybody gets down. You know, these bitches be like, you know, oh, I'm my nigga, he, uh, he getting on my motherfucking nerves. He ain't treating me right. He ain't doing me right. Oh, that's the that's the key words to a nigga, a wicked ass nigga, man. That's the key fucking words to a wicked ass nigga. Like that light bulb go off. Yep. Ding, ding, the alarm bells and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the key words. That's all a, a wicked nigga need to hear. You know, when it's the bitch that's going off like a motherfucker, that, that's her whole objective is being a daughter's hoe. You know, but ain't nothing wrong with it. Like the scripture says, she eateth and wipe of her mouth and said it says. She, it, 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 it says she done nothing wrong or something like that. But then you got, I told you, you know what I'm you got all the politicians, and they the ones that push all the women rights bullshit, mm -hmm. starting with the Jew woman. It was the Jewish woman that started the women's liberation movement, That's or right. the women's lib. That was all, all the so-called Jews, uh, really the house that Esau was behind all that shit, man. Behind it all. Behind it all. So you take this devil out the way, out the equation, what's left for these bitches? Nothing but death. Exactly. If it wasn't you know, for the government, there wasn't a goddamn thing these bitches could do about nothing except for to do what the fuck we say. That's right, bro. That's, that's right. That's all you had to do. That's it. There was, it was there, if there was no 911, there was no police, okay, if there was no uh, so-called American laws, these women, they, they'd be out of business, man. What if I want somebody, I give a motherfucker, I promise I give a motherfucker $1,000 where it says in the scriptures, it's all right for these bitches go shopping for a motherfucking nigga, a new nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't say that. It say that we can go damn shopping right. for a woman. You're damn right. You know what I mean? It, hey, if you got a wife, that I mean, wife literally, is, literally, you're literally, your wife literally. is supposed to help you find another woman too. A oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here, let me read this, bro. Yeah, because the Bible says that we can pay, pay uh, so uh, uh, we could pay a man silver for his daughter, <laughs> give him silver in exchange for a woman. Yeah, yeah. In the kingdom, we're gonna be giving our daughters to each other as gifts. Exactly. Yeah, it's gifts. You know, here's my, here's my beautiful. My well raised beauty. And then we'll still when it will still give me money for it too. <laughs> and it's just part of part of the tradition. The righteous act. You know, that's a righteous act. Righteous you give him the silver. That's just part of the tradition. That's bad, ain't it? it is. is that a kingdom or a kingdom? Your God is now this cool. queen, this You're queen, a faggot. You're a big faggot! And this queendom is totally against that, man. That lock your ass straight the fuck up, this goddamn devil. You know, it's easy to yell the word faggot real loud. Yeah, it vibrates good. Yeah, yeah, it goes out there. Yeah, that's right. Call someone a fact. Man, I used to go nuts out here, boy. I used, right. to, I used to scream like that at the top of my lungs all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I go home with a fucking headache and shit. <laughs> the sore throat. God <laughs> damn. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Please ace is eight and nine. Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thy arms. Yeah, because you got a lot of people do that. <laughs> Cause you got a lot of people. Right, cause you got a lot of people who uh who, who all live in the same house. Maybe have multiple men and women in the house, or somebody living with a couple. And while the dude's away from his girl, you talking to her, listening to music with her. What? Yeah. You know what I mean? Playing games together. Mm -hmm. You ain't supposed to do shit like that. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, if you if you so if you happen to be around another man's woman, you ain't you ain't supposed to talk to her at all. Stare at the ceiling. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. You know, like for example, like me, I, I at this point, man, this already it's in my mind. My my, my bitch is a motherfucking beast hole anyway. You know, no matter how much she front that she down with a motherfucker, but you know, hey. If the bitch get up and go tomorrow, like I say, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Real. All right, but if I was at your house, say I, say I was over at your house, right. 
and you had to go to the store or something. Right. I ain't going to be all... I must be on the other side of the house. I'm gonna be up in there talking to your wife. And, right, you probably go with me. You know, yeah, I, yeah, I ain't gonna stay there with her. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna do that. I'm just. I'm like, I'm, I hate being around people's girls, man. Yeah, you I ain't, fucking hate it, man. When you leave, they gotta leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but you, it, but you got all these faggot men. They'll let their wife have uh, uh, men friends. They're like, we're just friends. You know, they still talking to other guys on the friend. I'll be like, well, I'm just gonna kick. That's a sucker, man. Right. Only, a, only, only a sucker will put up with a bitch like this, man. A straight up su a weak bitch, man. Don't touch my bitch anymore. Uh, a real man, a real man ain't gonna let his woman talk to no men. Okay. Right. right. You should have a problem with your woman talking to any man but you. I dare my rest. bitch to even speak to a nigga. Like when we all about motherfuckers she went to school with, somebody should work with, I dare. <laughs> she don't even do that, man. Yeah, I'm but with, no, I'm just not no good Yeah, but with these hoes, me. with these hoes out here, yeah, that hoe too. All these hoes. Yeah, hoes. But with these hoes out here, if you take them out on a date, you're going to run into people that she done fucked before. Yeah, sucked on the button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep, they did all kind of nasty shit to that bitch, man. So you can't take these bitches out in public. Right. The fuck, so the hell with taking a bitch to the movie? You know what I'm saying? Just, just fuck these hoes, man. That's all you can do is just fuck them. Don't be spending no money on them. You're supposed to get a woman to spend money on you. Don't give these hoes shit. They got plenty. They got plenty of money already. They don't want to got the jobs. Yeah. They don't want to got the good jobs. Yeah, we drove past to see that fucking even my bitch is standing there holding the goddamn sign. Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms, and spend not thy money with her at Oh, that we just saying that. Don't spend no money on them hoes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, because you'll have that, yeah, you, like you got bitches. Married bitches will go to the bar and have other men buy her drinks all night. All night long. That's all a right. foolish nigga. Them drinks is expensive. That nigga right there. That's you, bro. That's you. Claim out there Walking movie. Dead. Claim. Yeah. You seen that claim? claim? That's yeah. claim. With the rabbit. You seen that? Yeah. yeah. The, the Walking Dead. The yeah. new one. Claim. No, I ain't seen that. Yeah. 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 They say they seen this dude became uh, that dude Daryl. He became he became part of some group. But they had rules in the group. If you see something you wanted, the first person to yell, claim got it. That's cool. You know what I mean? That seemed like a fair system to me. That's cool, because we've we, we, we seen enough of them. He, he, he said that, uh, don't laugh. Oh, yeah. If the dude laughed, try to set him up, they broke his arrow. They killed his ass. They oh, put, yeah. a, they put yeah. an arrow in his damn eye. Woo! I just saw watching this show again. Yeah, that's a good show. I just saw watching that shit again. That's actually in the scriptures. Yeah, we wa claim. we watching The Walking Dead right now. Yeah. What the fuck was that? We should do an exorcist. Oh yeah, now it's the same episode when the goddamn zombie, when they was trying to uh, do the red hair dude, they was looking for shelter, yeah. and there was a and there was a zombie on top of the tower, <laughs> and the zombie's dumb ass just can't walk in, just like oh, just splattered on the ground and shit. Just like these goddamn people, man. Yeah, bitches to be walking down the street texting. They fall off a goddamn cliff texting. <laughs> it was, it was fucking simple as hell. Yep. You hear about it all the time, about people drive off a cliff texting. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, driving to it. They, they said cover. texting and driving is now more deadly than uh, drinking and driving. You know that's on Channel 4's news today. That, man, that's the spirit. That was actually on the news. That's one of his articles today, how majority of these accidents happen because of these dumbass people on the cell phones, man. Like one in four accidents, which I'm sure is probably higher than that. And what, oh, what are they doing on their cell phone? Mm -hmm. Adultery? Yep. Yep. Look, well, yep. on our cell phones, we on Wikipedia. Okay, we on EddieMyLine.com. We on motherfucking uh, Bible website, Blue Letter Bible websites. We, we not on motherfucking uh, Facebook and talking to bitches all day, okay? Oh, yeah, that's all these people do. They just on... The social sites posting a picture of every last meal they ate, and, he's been, and that shit they post me looking scary. Dumb as hell, right? They got this fish face look oh, going on. Shit. The, the dumb ass face when they pucker up their lips. And shit. Yeah, they always do a pucker their lips up for the right. camera. Don't clean shit they post. 
and they always had the pictures with their ass right up in the camera. Like most of these bitches' uh, profile pictures on the internet is a picture of their ass. They don't have their face in the picture. Like bent over. Just their ass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You gonna tell me these women ain't hoes? Oh, they wanna be. They, they talk. They talk this shit. I want you to know my mind instead of my body, but. Yeah, bitch, what you doing? <laughs> so, but we supposed to call that a queen, and right. that's the mother of all life. And right, right. Baby, we supposed to worship the woman, and we're supposed to. Yeah. Man, fuck you, hoes, man. You know what I mean? That shit don't fly over here. I got a scripture uh, real quick. In their mind, they know this. They know that's all they got running for them is that stinking ass that's that they've been over. In their mind, they know that too. I ain't never in my motherfucking life talked to a bitch that enlightened me with shit, man. Hell no, Not man. one. And I read this book by, doctor. this is a doctor, man. Her name is Dr. Welsing Cressing. She wrote the book on the ISIS laws. Y'all know America's like about to be destroyed? ISIS, oh, ISIS something Egyptian like that. Shit. Yeah, uh, the bitch is uh, going up, but everything in the book is just from shit that she got from Esau, man. You yeah, every I mean? once in a while you run across. ISIS papers. ISIS papers? Yeah, that's I think I heard that. Yeah. Every, every once in a while, you run across a woman who did a little study and a little research, mm -hmm. and she recorded it in a book or something, or she gave a speech. So, I mean, we ain't saying women can't know stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because they know some shit. Anybody can study and research. Yeah, they just don't know how but to watch they, their ass. Right. Then a woman is not a spiritual leader. She cannot be a spiritual leader, only in wickedness. Okay? That's right. Because right. you ain't, ain't going to have no women come out here and do what we do. They, they never happen. Even if we allow that to happen, we will not allow a woman to come out here and teach with us. Wait, wait, That's wait, not a... If it was going to happen, you should have seen it. would have When you see it. Yeah, right. so right. We, we would have been happy. Right. right. We're right. out here. Right. So it's not going to happen. As an example, that's why we're out here, you know. You'll never see it. And you're not going to see it. You might see one of these crazy bitches standing in front of an abortion clinic with oh, some yeah, abortion yeah, pictures yeah. posted up, you know. Oh, yeah. But that's all she's doing is just protesting that abortion standing there. She ain't spent no words on the dollar. You know, that abortion is some wicked shit, too, that's destroying Israel. But you ain't gonna see no wisdom. Right, because everyone's why, like, yeah, because you got that's some. Sad. It's the only got. Mm -hmm. so I saw some other day, I saw from Cleveland Avenue up north, way up north near Westerville, they stand in front of an abortion clinic the, they just standing there, not saying shit, just pointing at the place. Look like some, some demonic shit, man. It's like, what the fuck are they doing? Yeah. Just standing there, like, with their hands. Did you hear about an abortion like clinic in London? Nah. Over there in London, they was taking all the aborted fetuses. Oh, yeah. And they was the burning world. them in the furnace. They was heating it. They, used, they was using them to heat the building up. That's some crazy shit. Yeah. They, they would do some crazy shit. Hey. That, that, that was just in the news a couple they, days. I mean, what they for just bitch for stubble? <laughs> the bigger problem is the abortions, not them burning it for fire. <laughs> for that's them. really, they burning the mold yeah, yeah. Hey, look, they actually burning babies in that fire. I bet you they had a ritual before they did it, too. Yeah. All them doctors are all witches and warlocks. Just because, just before we came out here, we was watching an episode of the X-Files. What was the name of that Shit. episode? It was Die, Die Hand. Where they at? Die. What, behind that tree? They're behind that tree. It was called Die Hand, Die Something. It was like, what was that, season two? Man, we was watching this episode of the X-Files, and they showed you in this episode of the X-Files how your average next door neighbor, you know, they had a nice house, nice family, nice car, but they was devil worshipers. Mm. And they was sacrificing children in their basement. Mm -hmm. But that's just going out, on out here, man. You go all these rich neighborhoods, especially the Jewish neighborhoods of them, Bexley, they got mansions, you know, they got uh, million dollar homes. They up in there just sacrificing children. It's in their holy book. Right, it is in their book. It's in their holy book. Why do you think the Bible said don't sacrifice your seed to Molech? That's a holy book. It's in their unholy book. Yeah, the, the Talmud. Yeah. This ain't nothing holy about that book. That's a book, that's a wicked ass book. They even know, they even say that they, uh, their God is Satan. If you look at you, listen to that book. They call them Satan. Well, they got many names. Well, Molex, Satan. Yeah. It depends what cult. Another, they all got. They got multiple cults they into. They worship Marduk. All, Marduk. all the gods listen scriptures. in the Bible. Yeah, sure yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You listen to that interview oh. that's called the Lying Jew, and he tell you right there that they, they, they their god is Satan. They, they worship know? the devil. Yeah. This book is a front. It's just a front. 
You know, it's just a front to fool the, the foolish people, man. Because these dumbass people are willing to accept anything that's told to them, especially if it comes out of a rat Jew's mouth, man. They listen to anything a Jew said. Any fucking thing, man. Let me finish this. Okay, um. Oh, they just had Ashton Kutcher over there at the, uh, some over there in Israel at a funeral for some some uh, one of his Kabbalah teachers died. So, what the fuck did? And he was wearing a Freemason hat. Good. So, I mean, this is more proof. Because Adam Kusher, he's all famous, likable. Every, you know what I'm saying? Everybody oh, loves him. But this, he worships Satan. Mm. And spend not thy money with her as thy father as the wine. This thine heart inclined unto her, and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. You're gonna be in the darkness all you want, but trust me, the angels of the Lord is right there watching the black, stinking, simple ass. And nobody gets away with adultery. Nobody. Now you can your, your I mean your wife may have left your ass 12 years ago. Best believe her judgment's coming and she ain't paid for it yet, you know? Most high don't let nobody get a, get a fucking free pass. Free pass like you gotta go to the bathroom, free pass to commit a fucking fraud. What you uh, well, what you where you going, bro? Yeah, because if we ever have anybody come out here with us and commit adultery, we, we, you ain't talking to you no more. That's right. And there ain't no coming back either. Right. Ain't don't even call me, don't text me. We don't care if you did repent, you on your own. <laughs> okay? I mean, no. I mean, yeah. For real? Because people sure? use that as an excuse. Oh, the Lord will forgive you. Then they use that as an excuse. Yeah. Ain't there some sins worthy to death? Oh, I'll get that scripture, actually. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm gonna get that. There's some sins you can just, you can forgive your brother for. You know what I'm saying? You, there's, you know, there's some, I can forgive your brother for. And I'm a forgiving brother anyway. You know, I forgive yep. brothers for a lot of shit, man. The adultery. Like adultery. That's one of the lows to the no. lows. Yeah. Right. Right, right. You don't give a fuck about your kids. You don't care about your kids. Adultery. Shit like that, man. I look at you, man. He's gonna you. kill you, actually. Nigga. Associate with a like that, man. Ecclesiastes 9 and 2. Give not thy soul unto a woman That's right. to set her foot upon thy substance. That's right. Meet Don't. not with an harlot, lest thou fall into her snares. That's right. Because all these women are fucking hoes. Every last one of these bitches is hoes, man. So what you gonna fall in love with them when you know if you got sense that eventually this bitch is gonna sign a new contract with another nigga? <laughs> Sign contracts and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause also all they doing, they're uh, they're like these NBA hoes, man. These niggas in the NBA, they just hoes and won't be shot for one team or other. I just like another, wrestling. Yep. I was watching the wrestling uh interview. And in wrestling they call uh they call the the uh they call the bitches there uh what do you call them the uh what do they call the bitches in the contest with the music group? Groupies. The, the groupies. In wrestling, they call the groupies ring rats. Ring rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah. be talking about how they be passing the same bitch around. And they and really they, do. And he's like, you got to watch out for that bitch. That bitch got uh, syphilis and Stephanie herpes. Stephanie McMahon. Oh, uh, you know, oh, they said Macho Man. They said Macho Man fucked Stephanie McMahon, and that's why Vince McMahon hates Macho Man and still to this day will not mention his name. That's why he's not in the Hall of Fame. You see, Macho Man ain't in the Hall of Fame, is he? Oh, but you see, but that's one of my. That was one of my favorite wrestlers. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Macho Man. Macho Man. Oh, see, yeah, he was a wrestler. He yeah. was good at the mic and good at yeah. the ring. He was the best ever on the mic, probably. Yeah, no, the mic. I don't know. He was, he was better on the mic. <laughs> he was good. He was one of the best. Oh, superstar was pretty you know? good on the mic. I mean, there's quite a. There's only yeah. a handful of them that was good yeah, on the mic. Just yeah. a handful. Yeah. Just a handful. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But all them motherfuckers are really terrible on the mic, man. All the, all the <laughs> best. The best motherfucker on the mic ever is New Jack. New Jack, no, New, New Jack, Jack. This, yeah, you, oh, you about watch New Jack? Nah, I can't watch that oh, sick man. shit, man, for some reason. Oh, you just, oh, he be talking the best shit. I can't watch that sick shit for some Oh, he does do some sick shit, don't he? Blood, he be blood, man. Blood, you can't yeah. see that shit, man. For some reason, it was better. That blood was easy to, to deal with back in the, but with, uh, the 80s and little bit of something. Dusty Rhodes and then. Oh, I used to always see Dusty Rhodes bleeding and shit. They really be cutting so deep in this shit. Oh, yeah, they be so bad. Oh, you see New Jack, New Jack, he, he done cut his head so much, he got a big ass scar. Deep scars too. Oh, you, you about to read that? Yeah, I'm finishing this up. Ecclesiastes 9 
and four, use not much the company of a woman that is a singer, lest thou be taken with her tents. Oh yeah, cause yeah, fuck all these singing hoes like Alicia Keys, uh, Beyonce. You know Beyonce is a devil worshiper. Did y'all know Beyonce is a devil worshiper? Actually, did. So they say, yeah, that that knowledge is out there right now. So, so I mean, everybody know. Look, I was a uh, uh, the uh, the corner store earlier today. And this black bitch was up there on the phone like, did you know Jay-Z was in the Illuminati? <laughs> she was all bugged all out of it. Yeah, all surprised. Oh, you know, we got extra surprise, we got extra. That's what's good. Nah, I'm straight. Y'all trying to poison it. Get this shit out of here. Stiff up. Yeah, y'all trying to poison it. I'm not how you dealt with her. You see that? They try to get us. Hey, what's up? Y'all know America's about to be destroyed according to the Holy Bible? Yeah. Y'all all gonna get burned up by fire. I know. That's just the spirit of the times, that, that vibration getting out there, the vibration of information. Five years ago, it wasn't like that. Right, right. But I'm surprised, a black bitch too? But from when we, from when we first started teaching, we've been out here We've been out here for a long time, for years now, about what, five, six years? I can't, something like that. But six, five, six years ago, people didn't, they didn't know a goddamn thing. They didn't know about 9-11. They didn't, they didn't, Illuminati, what's that? But now, now the Illuminati's a household name. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. knows about the Illuminati. Now everybody waking up to 9-11, like you mentioned. Yep. That's big, that's huge how people waking up to that. Because before, we would literally be out here arguing yeah, people. Yeah, over, I hated that. Arguing with them for just 9-11. Yeah, I hate wasting my time that. talking about some goddamn 9-11. Why you think that faggot Rockefeller wanted the motherfucking internet? Like he said, yep. it was a mistake that we let that shit get out. We invented the internet. Cause he knew that information, man, is un it's unstoppable now. You hear a lot of people it's talking about. A lot of people know that Mike, uh, Mark of the Beast is the chip. That's right. A lot of people know that. I, I hear people talk about the microchip all the time. Six, six, six. Remember, they say it's a tangible thing. That information is getting out there. We living in a time of information. Hey, but look, I got a scripture going back to what we was just talking about. Cause remember earlier, we, we was just talking about adultery, and we said it is a certain sin that you really not supposed to... Oh, let me just read the scripture. This is John 5... Uh, excuse me, this is 1 John 5 and uh, 16. If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. Right, I mean, you want to correct your brother, you know? And when we do that, we give them life. Right, that's right. You want to correct them, whether they accept that correction or not. That's on them. Yep. That's on them, you know what I mean? For example, there's some shit that you can't help, you know what I mean? Like uh, like the sap. Like you ain't, you can't work on the sap, you know, when you want to fast. I mean, you can't fast, you know what I mean? I mean, you got to forgive your brother. Trying to judge a brother or something like yeah, that. Yeah, picking and bullshit. Right, little stupid yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the man has to work. He can't fast and go to work. But something like adultery is not an accident yeah, where you right. can't help it. Like, you see, like, you see me looking at somebody's woman, uh, a partner, and you put man, that's somebody's wife, man. That's all. I'm just doing my own soul if I want to keep pursuing that shit. I'm just doing my own soul. Anybody that's a righteous man that has a spiritual eye, you're going to take that. You're going to take that. That, that you gonna listen to that man? Y'all know America's about to be destroyed. That's scriptural. Yeah, hey, that's the that's the prophecy today. Y'all know a prophecy. You know what the word prophecy means? Yeah. What does the word prophecy mean? It means it's prediction that something's gonna come true. That's right. Or something must come true. Yeah, that's true. that's right. Cause we cause we telling you that America's about to be destroyed by fire. Who's the next one? Oh, I'm um, black and white. Who's 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 uh, who's black? My dad. Yeah, yeah. You read the Bible? Yeah. You believe in the Lord Jesus? Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know it's real. Man. Yeah, read the scripture that said uh that speaks about being lukewarm. <laughs> about what? Hey, he got it for you. He'll read it to you. That's right. Uh, Is that Revelation 3 and 15? Go check this out, man. This is Revelation. Are uh, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna read it so you can hear? He uh, ain't gonna Jesus. whisper it to you. Right. Okay. This is Revelation uh, 3 and 15. <laughs> I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. 
I went thou art cold or hot, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. So you said you only believed a little bit. So you getting spewed out at this point. But you right don't wake up to it. I mean, we ain't Yeah, right. right We're just saying. Yeah. You know, because you're just out here in this. You know what I'm saying? It's rather, it's up to you, like what we're talking about. You know? yeah. Whether you want to accept correction or not. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like I said, we're trying to push out. Like, the Lord's on his way. The Lord's going to be showing up pretty soon on this guy. Literally, he's coming. He's going to be showing up. And all we try to do is try to get people right. You know? You I your, your students here. No, um, unless you had a way to see a Bible study, actually. No, that's where you're going? Yeah. Oh, you're wasting your time. Yeah. <laughs> you're wasting your time giving some Bible study. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Because they you you never teach you law, you can't 100% truth right here. Where they got? Oh, yeah. Luke, uh, when the Acts. What church is it? What church? You go, what kind of church is it? What's the name of it? Oh, Christian Briar. Oh. Briar. What kind of church? Who, who do they tell you that the Lord is coming to save over there? Uh, I'll do it Hold up, why are you going to church if you don't fully believe in Christ? See, the thing is, everybody <laughs> don't question. accept Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Only Israelites can accept Jesus. They're like, what are you planning on doing Only at this people. church? Yeah, Playing Pokemon? If he only well, believes who, a little bit, who, is everybody else in there like that? Okay, but check this out, man. This is Acts 7 and Acts 48. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. So, now y'all, we y'all on your way to again? They the gonna, they're gonna hide up in he's that building. Not, right, he's not in those temples. But you know what's in those temples? They get Satan. Matthew five. Okay. They, they get Matthew five. Just okay. don't let the oh, pastor try to touch you in a strange place. That's like you. What's that? What's that dude who was on American Idol that did that? Uh, that sing that Ricky Martin song, the retarded guy. You don't remember that? That's who he reminded me of, that retarded guy of American Idol that sang that. I don't know who that. you're talking about, but it's still funny. You know who I'm talking about? No. Yeah, he sang that Ricky Martin song. Yeah. I forget, the Levita Loke, I think, yeah. maybe? Yeah. No, it was some retarded kid. I forget his name. Retarded really was retarded. And he is too retarded. Uh, he gotta be retarded. Ask him. Because if he's not, he sure got me from Something hang or, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, he was hot on you too. Yeah. That shit was awful. They try to, yeah, yeah, it was awful. That's who that dude looked like. <laughs> and they try to exalt that shit. Yeah. But it, it worked. People loved it, man. It's like that boy fight, man. That's crazy, man, how they exalt it. Because it was cute. It wasn't even cute. That shit was horrible. Right, man. it wasn't that even cute. I can't, about I don't watch that shit no more. I don't that YouTube boy fight. That thing on that burger style. Oh, that shit was cute. Oh, style? That shit was retarded. That shit was a YouTube spoof at first. Oh, was it? Get that man a fucking deal. You make some money. You know what I'm saying? They actually get that man a deal. And now that song comes on the motherfucking radio. Oh, so. yeah, I'd rather listen to the the troll of Lola 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 sound. You don't know troll of Lola Lola Lola? Turn the radio on. Keep it on. I'm just joking. And when we finish this scripture, I ain't gonna finish it. This is 1 John 5 and 16. If any man see his brother sin a sin, which is not unto death, he shall ask. And he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. I mean, I mean, so if somebody's sinning unto death, he's saying, I'm not really saying you should pray for that. That's what he's saying. He's saying, that's an adultery. If somebody out there committing adultery, you know, being a faggot, that's why you ain't gonna see us having no uh, recovering faggots in our camp. Like he's a re rehabilitated faggot. He, he doesn't. He doesn't like sucking cock no more. So we're gonna accept him in. Look, if he was somebody really like that, they can go on their own. What's that faggot that said? That was a faggot that used to dress up for one. Oh man, that's Dyson. Dyson. Some Dyson. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know he's looking for a uh, looking joint on um, the heinous claim or somebody's man, what what up? But he can't come here. Like claim. Example, he I already claimed that. Oh he shit. Can't join this kid. Oh, Andy Dyson, that's it. Yeah. Found out that's he fucking right. faggot. He actually found out he lives right. Well, 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 if he was really getting right, well, you're on your own, buddy. Yeah, we, right. we, no, we ain't, we ain't, yeah, we ain't, uh, not here. Yeah. That's right. Okay. We, we ain't gonna get in your way. If you really believe and you're really not a faggot no more, that's on you. Don't do your work. Yeah, we stay the fuck yeah. away from us. <laughs> Self a drive car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 keep it. Yeah. And we stay far away from me. Yeah, make you a count. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
You know, I mean, yeah. But we ain't, yeah, this shit ain't going down like that. I mean, that's it's right here. It's in the Bible. Let me read it again. They should have been dead a long time ago. And this is 1 John 5 and 16. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. That's being a faggot, committing adultery. That's blasphemy the Lord. You know what I mean? Doing something real nasty. That's the lows to the lows type of shit. You know what I mean? Murdering somebody. You ain't, you know what I mean? But actually, I think adultery is probably worse than murder. Yeah. 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 That leads to murder. Oh, it's it about the same, really. Well, yeah. Well, so it's both punishable by death. Yeah, yeah. You kill a motherfucking yeah. adultery. That's yeah. what it's killing. Yeah. It's not murder. You're doing a perform, performing a righteous act. So, yeah, because I mean, because you could even murder. Because you can be forgiven for even killing somebody. That's right. Because yeah. yeah. Paul, Paul killed all kind of people. Man, he ain't the only one. Yeah, King David had somebody killed him. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, oh, yeah, so yeah. you know America's about to be destroyed. Uh, let me read the rest of this. If uh, all unrighteousness is sin, and there is a sin not unto death, we know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. That means you keeping the laws. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that's this whole world lieth in wickedness. That's why the scriptures say in the same book, love not the world. First John 2 and 15. Neither the things that are in the world. Right. That means I, you can read, you just want to read the whole book of John. You know what I mean? There's so much talk. Y'all know claim, I'll go. Claim. This is on uh, Romans 9 and 6. <laughs> you got it. Not as though the word of Yahweh, the Most High, have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Right, so people, oh, well, I see you're saying, you want your own people to die? Yes. <laughs> Please. Yes. Immediately, yes. <laughs> What about you? But oh yeah, but people always say y'all live in America, but you saying America's gonna be destroyed? That's stupid. That's good. Yeah, it's too high for a fool. Yeah, it's too high for a fool. Oh man, I got I know all the fools. I got the best one. <laughs> Ecclesiastic is 8 and 17. Consult not with a fool, for he cannot keep counsel. That's right. He can't sit here and have a, a righteous <laughs> conversation with the only righteous so, Yeah, you wasting your time. If you know someone's a goddamn fool, why even waste your time talking to him or trying to have a, uh, a actual debate or discuss? You can't discuss shit with a fool. That's you just clown. All you can do is clown on him and rebuke him and curse him out. That's all you can do. Hey, read that again. That's a beautiful scripture, man. That's one of my all-time favorite scriptures. Ecclesiastes 8 and 17. Consult not with the fool, for he cannot keep counsel. And all these people out here are fools. Like even up in the universities, all the professors are fools. Uh, you have something you got to bring out? Yeah, these, what kind of wisdom do these people have, man? Your average person don't know anything. He doesn't know anything except for PlayStation. Yeah, he know all the codes to Grand Theft Auto. He get them codes in with the quickness. Click, 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 clack, clack, clack. You know what I'm saying? That's the highest form of knowledge these people get is learn, mastering video game codes. You know what I'm saying? They think that's some hidden knowledge. Yeah, you they think hidden knowledge was learning how to do a fatality on Mortal Kombat. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's some <laughs> hidden knowledge right there. That was a mystery. Here you go. Um, this is Proverbs 14 and 7. Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. Yeah, so as soon as you, we can tell automatically as soon as someone starts talking whether they a goddamn fool or not. And they give it away right away. I mean, it's just obvious. Yeah. We, don't, we don't come across too many intelligent people. Most people we come across are dumbasses. 
the average person who thinks they have some kind of knowledge, they're retarded. They don't know shit. Especially if they come up here and talk to us, they'll find out how retarded they really are. Because they think they're like at a university. Women, there's more women at all these universities than men. How come there's more women in college than men? When it's obvious all the inventions were all invented by men, for the, ma the majority, I say about 99% of all technology was invented by men. Okay? A woman, what the fuck is a woman invented? A quilt? Not, not a goddamn thing. The man probably invented the quilt. Oh, he probably did. The man probably figured out how to do the, yeah, the shearing the sheep and making the wool and the linen. That was probably a man that figured that out and taught the woman. You know what I mean? Uh, bitch, you gonna make my quilt. And if the man invented, when he goes to computer, science, I don't care what it is. And it was, it was a man behind everything. Okay, you go down the whole list, Isaac Newton, motherfucking uh, Copernicus, Galileo, computer scientists, all the people who created C++ and C, it was all men. A hey, woman, a woman. The prophets of the Lord. Oh, well, yeah, I'm just talking about inventions. Know. You know, but that prophets, yeah, all the prophets. Oh, oh what about Deborah, though? Everything was right. What oh, about Deborah? Shit, Deborah didn't, Deborah didn't go out of line unless she had a man with her anyway. You know, you got, oh, what about Deborah? <laughs> what about Deborah? They act like, what, what about Deborah? They show me one book in the Bible that was written by a woman. How about you do that? Yeah. There's not a single book in the Bible written by a woman. Right. What, what, what about, see, y'all didn't know about the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, though. Because they took that out the Bible, because they didn't want you to read that. Fucking They ain't reading their damn self. Talking about some fucking Mary Magdalene, man. People are out of their minds. And they said, like, they actually read this shit. Yeah, they've never read it, though. They know about don't say that, but they have never read it. And if they have read it, they probably glanced over it. Right, read the, what you call it, the introduction? Yeah, the introduction. introduction yeah. Oh, I'm going to read the rest of them, get back with it tomorrow. Because actually, yeah, I've, I've looked at a lot of them lost Gospels. I've even looked at them in the Greek. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't do that. So we know about the, your raggedy ass Mary, God, what's that shit called? <laughs> the <laughs> Gospel of Mary Magdalene. Yeah, we know about Barnabas. Enoch. 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 We know about all that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, act like y'all came up with something new. Hey, that's on the History Channel. Y'all act like y'all are scholars. <laughs> Motherfuckers watch a show on the History Channel, now they're a goddamn expert. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. right. Here you go. This is on Proverbs 3. And um, I'm going to start at 4. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Yeah, lean not unto your own understanding. That's what the main thing people would say. They're like, I don't want to hear what that Bible has to say. I want to hear what you believe and fill in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> that's a popular saying, too. That's what, that's what I'm trying to get you to go off your own opinion. Huh? Trying to get you to go Some, like a mom. They'll probably tell us that before the night's over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody is going to come up and say that. Yeah. yeah. And they so fucking stupid. It, this say you do tell somebody how you feel or something according to your heart. Didn't they have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? And half the time, like, say... Say you just do it with some okie doke shit and say, oh, well, I feel this way about it. They'll be like, okay, well, that's it. Right, right, right. What the fuck? You know what? Let's, let's speak on the heart. My heart wants this motherfucking place to score. Yeah, with all my heart. Oh, I got a heart. My, all my soul. I got a heart. I want to see this fucking place destroyed. I want to see these wicked people. Burnt the fuck up. I got all my heart scriptures. You know, crispy. I want to see these people, like the scripture says, melt. Right, yeah. Hey, let's get melt. that scripture. Get that. Get Malachi. Get it. We go about to come out with a uh, uh, gauntlet melt. of scriptures. Melt. You melt know what with me? fervent heat. Fervent heat. <laughs> every week for the past couple months, every, every we talking about nothing. Melt. That's what, that's what we can't get away.